My name is Gemma Sherry. I was born on the 12th of February 1984 at 20 past two in the Kilmarnock Maternity Hospital in Ayrshire, Scotland. A first child for Julie and Bill. The nurses told my mum they'd never seen a baby as fair as me. A paediatrician told her there was something wrong with my eyes. That I may be blind. Another doctor told her she's not blind. But I'm in no doubt that she's an albino. Someone once told me that people with albinism have between 20 and 40% vision. Almost all of us have nystagmus, an uncontrolled movement of the eyes, and photophobia, an extreme sensitivity to light. We do not have red eyes. That's for the movies and rabbits. Remember when you used to um, play ball games or out with the kids and you used to get hit maybe with a ball or a shuttlecock or something and you used to dive down and just hit the ground and roll up into a wee ball? It's because I didn't know what it was that had just hit me. Yeah. But you, you, you never had any perception of where things were coming from. It would just arrive in your face. It'd scare me. I'd hide. My mother was in shock when she first found out about my albinism. No one can remember anyone ever having it in the family. No one knew a thing about it. But they needn't have worried. I didn't need my eyesight. I just used my other senses. I was fearless by the time I got to school. And I loved it there. These were kids I'd been brought up with and no one treated me any different. I learned to use my eyes. Began to swim. I joined the Jets, the disabled swim team.
things changed when I got to secondary school. I was suddenly with over a thousand kids that I barely knew. And because the school was so large, they assigned me a helper who was always with me. She'd follow me from class to class to take notes and to help me navigate the school. She was a lovely woman, but I felt stifled. I could never be part of things in the same way as other kids. I hated the limitations. When I wanted to study chemistry, one teacher said, why do you want to do that? Without your sight, you'll never be able to do anything with it. I took chemistry anyway and got great marks. I stopped swimming, I left the jets. I didn't want to be labelled anymore. I left school at 15. I can't remember exactly how it came about. I needed some information or something, but I got in contact with the Albinism Fellowship. They invited me to get together. I was breaking it. What if they were all weirdos? What if I didn't belong? I almost didn't go. But I had a ball. What a relief to be with people who understand. I'd hardly met anyone with albinism. My mum says when I got home, I was practically bouncing off the walls with excitement. Shoes on. Basically, you want your toes to be right at the end. But... Now I feel if people stare at me, let them. If they want to believe film stereotypes, they're stupid. I choose something different. Ready to go then? Okay. Yeah, that's good. The way you move your foot there. Generally, the, the front part of your shoes. Last one, Joe. Hope you well. I'm training to be a sports therapist at the Nautical College in Glasgow. I've gone back to swimming, poaching kids. The only disadvantage I can tell is that I can't drive.
I'm proud of who I am.